welcome back to my channel so for today's vlog i'm gonna be talking about how to get the schengen visa as a philippine passport holder i'm just gonna be sharing my experience on how did i get my schengen visa from norwegian embassy why did i apply in norwegian embassy it's because i will be staying most of my trip in norway so this is the thing you need to apply the Schengen visa in which country you're staying the most. Like in my case, it's Norway. So that's where I applied for the visa. So what are the things that you need, like the requirements? Of course, number one, you need a passport. Yes, you need a valid passport at least one year. <laughs> at least one year before it will expire that's that's the thing that i know and number two you need travel insurance so where did i get my travel insurance i can recommend blue cross for me blue cross is one of the best travel insurance that you can have i paid if i'm not mistaken five thousand pesos for 90 days trip to Europe 90 days trip to Schengen countries Yes, that's it <laughs> After having travel insurance you should prepare a proof of income So what are the proof of income? Uh, the ITR from your company if you are currently employed or if you have a business Yeah, you should need an ITR as well uh, the bank statement that you have of course you you need certificate of employment as well if you are employed and if you have a business I think registration of your business something like that uh, but then I was employed by then so I submitted an ITR and certificate of employment you also need to submit a flight reservation ticket not the confirm booking ticket guys because you don't wanna uh, waste the money in case you got denied so a reservation ticket is fine I'm gonna put in the description box below on where did I get my uh, flight reservation ticket so you guys can contact him his agency in case you need one okay so next thing that you need to do is go to your favorite photo studio to have your passport size photo you need a passport size photo so up after that that you have acquired all the requirements ready it's time for you to apply at the UDI website of Norwegian Embassy you need to book an appointment so that you can hand in your requirements to their um, outsource they already outsource their visa application which is at VFS Global that is located in Chino Roses Pasong Tamo Mahati I'm gonna put in the description box below the complete address so you guys know where it is so yeah so after that you book an appointment of course when the time has come you should go to VFS office to hand in your requirements there's no really an interview but of course they're gonna ask you some questions like the usual what is your purpose of going to Norway or to the country that you're visiting for example because they're not only handling Norway country they're not only handling Norway uh, VFS global handles a lot of countries which is mostly Scandinavian I think once you hand in your requirements to VFS global you need to pay um, 1535 if I am not mistaken that's how that's how much I paid when I applied for the visa uh, I'm not sure how much it is by now but 20 last 2015 last 2015 that's how much I paid for it 
and you need extra payment if you want to have it delivered to your house. But since I live really close to the place where the VFS is located, I did not um, choose the delivered whatever to my house because I can pick it up. So yeah, so I save like 150 pesos if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's it. So after you submitted and paid for your visa application, you just need to wait. You will get an SMS and an email if you get an approved visa. In my experience, I got my visa approved in less than a week. Like really, that's really quick, you know. Well, uh, as I have heard in some cases, not everyone will get the visa approved that quick. But hopefully, you will get your visa approved as well, like me. So yeah, that's it for today. I hope that you learned something from me. And if you like this video, just click the thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more informative vlog like this. Or if you want to see like really anything under the sun. So yeah, subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching and I will see you again next time. Bye!